Hi, everybody. Good afternoon, and welcome to Badger Talks Live Quick Picks, bringing you exciting happenings, resources, and talent from your UW flagship campus to the people of Wisconsin and beyond. I'm Grace Ruo, a sophomore in the College of Letters and Science, majoring in biology. I'm also a first wave scholar in the 14th cohort. During the month of February, Badger Talks is proud to present a series of 15 minute chats featuring the important work coming out of the Division of the Arts. This Black History Month, the division will highlight various ways in which the arts will create and activate spaces of belonging at UW Madison. In turn, the division hopes to improve individual well being through conversations with arts faculty and staff, guest artists, and students. Today, I'm pleased to introduce Will House Studios director, Gabrielle Javier Cerulli and UW Division of the Arts Director, Chris Walker. They'll be discussing arts and wellness and belonging on the UW campus. Wheelhouse Studios is located on the lower level of the Memorial Union, and it's open to students, staff, and Madison community members. Gabrielle Javier Cerulli is also a mixed media artist and the author of Art Journal Your Archetypes. Additionally, she holds a Master of Arts degree in Expressive Arts Therapy. In addition to his directorship, Chris Walker is a professor of dance and a founding artistic director of the First Wave program in the Office of Multicultural Arts Initiatives at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. He works in the disciplines of dance, theater, and film. Gabrielle and Chris will be available to answer questions in the Badger Talk Facebook group after today's discussion. The link is in the chat. Please join me in welcoming Gabrielle and Chris. I just like the sound of paper. <laughs> Better than Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for having us. I'm excited. Um, today we're talking arts and wellness. The arts enhance our culture broaden our perspectives and deepen our understanding of the world around us, allowing us to innovate, grow, and change. As I mentioned in last week's Badger Talk Live, a 2009 World Health Organization report found consistent evidence across over 900 studies that the arts can prevent ill health, encourage healthy lifestyles, and improve the recovery process from physical and emotional injury. The satisfaction of art practices combined with community building experience makes individuals significantly less likely to participate in dangerous activities and improves the overall outlook in life. So that's why we're here to talk arts and wellness. I want to cite another study in 2011 the Alliance for the Arts and Research Universities did an arts engagement project, and out of which we understood that students' fundamental beliefs, behaviors, and goals change because of encounters with the arts. That for some students, the arts inspire a stronger sense of self or impart meaning and purpose to life. Many students report that simply the arts give them enjoyment and happiness. At UW-Madison, we have been moving toward a campus of belonging. What does that mean? And what is the role of the arts in helping us accomplish this? So the arts create spaces that allow students to center themselves and heighten their sense of being and belonging. Because belonging goes well beyond inclusion. And it means that individuals feel like they are valued and that they can participate in shaping their future, own future. And that's why I've invited to sit with us today, Gabrielle Javier Sorelli, to talk about art and wellness. Thank you so Welcome. much. Welcome. Thank you, Chris. Tell us about you, Wheelhouse Studios and the unique services that it provides for our campus. Okay. Um, well, first of all, thank you so much for the invitation, um, for the chance for to talk about the awesomeness that is Wheelhouse Art Studio. 
Uh, we are located at the lower level of the Memorial Union. Um, and so most people know us as um, an art studio, but they don't know exactly what that means. We are a very unique community art studio, which means students can use our facilities and classes and group events, members of the Madison community, Dane County community, and it's all housed within the university. So it really, truly is unique and super special place, especially for the Madison community. It's a um, a creative incubator, sort of, you can say that. Right, right. So the one thing we do are we offer classes. Uh, you can get this online. Or we can also sign up for our email list. This is all on our website. So classes. Uh, ceramics, um, fused glass, uh, sewing classes, but we also have branched out to culinary arts. Mm. Um, hopefully dance will be coming. Mm. Um, <laughs> and, you know, the the painting, the watercolor, the uh, drawing classes and the acrylic painting. Um, so classes, offer them um, at different times of day. And again, students, faculty, staff, and community members can take those. Those are paid. Mm -hmm. Then we also have free arts programming, uh, free art Fridays that happen during the semesters uh, for students, staff, and um, faculty, and some community members. And those happen, um, they're on the Memorial Union events page. And those are fun because it's, um, we just did last Friday, uh, painting on vinyl records. Mm -hmm. And again, this is awesome because there is no barrier to participation because it's a free event. And um, then we also offer group events, which is me, which uh, for, again, student groups, RSO registered student orgs, uh, departments, uh, a lot of departments uh, come and bring their team to the outside community, bachelorette parties, uh, corporations, nonprofits, all come and do a group and organize that through me. Mm -hmm. And then we also have open studios. Is this one? Look at that. Open studios, again, for community and students um, to come utilize the spaces. We have three different art studios down there. One dedicated for wood growing, then we have ceramic. Then we have another one that's 3D art for hand building, uh, glass fusing, uh, art, metals, jewelry, ceramics, wood burning. Um, and then the other one is for 2D photography, uh, acrylic painting, watercolor painting, and sewing and textiles. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's what our offerings are. Right. In a nutshell. And you said dance is coming. So is that the festival room? I mean... It's a group of studios that make up Wheelhouse Studios, right? Yes. So that is to be determined soon. Ooh, yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. Um, can you share a Wheelhouse experience that highlights the importance of the arts and wellness? Because as I, even as I ask that, I think about um, the, the, the session that Kate mm -hmm. Houston organized for the Division of the Arts staff. It was a very stressful period of the year. And mm -hmm. I saw it popped up on my calendar and I show up at Wheelhouse Studios, the entire staff gathered and we created tiles. It was such a phenomenal experience. Yeah. I went back to my office lifted. Yes. Talk to us about um, that work in Wheelhouse. Um, well, I'll get, to, I'll get to your group specifically because we all ended up singing. And <laughs> so all the things that I mentioned, the classes, the, the free art, mm -hmm. um, the group events, the open studios, to me, that highlights the importance of art making and wellness. Right. So our whole deal is art making, um, not art absorbing, but the actual hands-on textile uh, texture. Uh, of creating, yeah, creating, making getting something, in it. yeah. So the classes, again, the wellness part of that is learning something new, learning a new skill, feeling proud of your creation. The group <laughs> events, team building, Yes. which uh, Chris can speak from a very personal experience. Absolutely. The um and also you get to see your your coworkers as humans, as like a different part of them. And there's always smiles and like also being a witness. Um and then we have um a, one other thing that we are doing is let's see, oh, so that's free art Friday, last Friday. We are collaborating with um UHS mental health departments offering these 
free mindfulness and art making classes on mm. Fridays. They're called Chillax Fridays. Uh, for um, this is not art therapy. This is just art for relaxation. Right. And it's mostly not art students who attend these computer science, data science, microbiology, supply chain management. Um, and they come and make some art together. They're witness to each other. They're witnessing others. And it really is, you could just see their physical, mm. like like the shoulders are dropping, the smiles are there. They're taking pictures of each other. Yes, work. yes. And it's not, uh, it's a transformative with a small T. Yeah. You know, because again, we're not doing therapy there. Right, it right. could be therapeutic, therefore, uh, increasing the wellness right but we're not doing any but you therapy. when 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 our team was there you guided that space with such a gentle beautiful loving hand <laughs> and i know you have a master's degree in expressive arts therapy yep. and i'm curious about how that plays into your role as the program director how you may engage with communities that were there we didn't go for therapy but so many of us left feeling better about our day feeling better about the folks we worked with, right? I got to yeah. engage with staff in a very intimate way right? because we're creating together. Yeah, We got to celebrate each other's creation at the end of the day. It was a really positive and small T transformational experience. Right. How has your background uh, and what parts of that work contribute to what you bring to Wheelhouse? Uh, as a trained art therapist, you learn uh, to hold space. Um, and there's always process over product mm -hmm. for us. So that's why I'm not a um, teacher here. We, <laughs> know, we do, I'm a facilitator of art making and engagement. Mm -hmm. So from the mac micro for like doing like small groups to all my community arts work um, throughout Madison. Um, and that's, it's, it's all about um, the engagement and the subtleties that happen in that engagement. Mm -hmm. There's, um, I, at the end of the day, you're, I don't, the, the, what you make on your tile is not really relevant. It's, it's those connections that happen. It's the experience of it. It's your feeling good about what you created. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's, that's definitely just the, the master, that's the therapy training, that's right. the art therapy training. And I think you've been saying it over and over again this whole interview, but I think I feel the need to ask, you know, mm -hmm. do you have to be an artist? Do you have to be a creative? Do you have to have had art experience to come take advantage of Wheelhouse Studio and what it offers as a space? Heck no. Huh? No. Say more. No. Especially those, <laughs> uh, so many people have art trauma from middle school and grade school and high school. Um, that they're afraid to come. We also collaborate. That's another common term, right? Art trauma, right? And this is oh, folks who've been traumatized by yeah. engaging in art experience at a particular point in their life and therefore not return to it. Correct. Uh, a teacher told them that they are not the, the artist and that that didn't look right. Yeah. And so, no, we 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 are perfect for those folks. Great. Um, and also we just... Again, the sense of belonging, we we just want to bring everybody in who has any interest. We collaborated with Reckwell. We went to their space uh, at the Nick, and it was during finals week. We did a little bit of watercolor uh, workshop, mm. and it was wonderful because it was students who don't normally hang out in art studio environments right. engaging in the arts, and that's, that's right. what we want to keep keep doing at, at wheelhouse that's great that you're also through your programming also move out of the studio space and into yeah. other space where people are able to access it we have a short time with you here and so in our last few seconds here i just want to encourage you all across the state of wisconsin there are wheelhouse studios mm -hmm. they may look different they may sound different but we're talking about these spaces that cultivate mm -hmm. right an environment of care where creativity and practice can bring people together to make together. Final word is yours. Gratitude. Gratitude. <laughs> we leave you with gratitude and one love. Thank you for watching this Badger Talks live event produced by the University of Wisconsin-Madison through UW Connects Outreach and the Office of State Relations. Follow us on Facebook and YouTube to see the library of past recorded talks. Please visit badgertalks.wisc.edu to see the schedule of upcoming talks, sign up for the Badger Talks email list, 
and search the roster of over 400 UW experts who are available to give talks on important issues in your Wisconsin community.